What's going on, you guys? Underdog Reese coming at you. Money Gang Sports. Want to let you know, uh, breaking down the San Jose game. Uh, that's coming up this Saturday against Washington State. Um, been looking at some numbers here uh, early. The opening line came at 35 and a half uh, minus for uh, Washington, uh, giving up the points to San Jose State. So what that tells me is that the bookies are pretty much on it because I probably would have given about maybe 38 to 40 uh, the way I have it broken down. And I will give you guys these uh, reasons here. And then um, the whole purpose of this video is later on we'll watch the line and then I'll probably make another one on Wednesday and uh, we'll check the lines, you know, probably check some updates, see if there's anything else going on because, you know, weather's always a factor. Uh, people get hurt. Uh, during practice and, and, and stuff like that. So it's very important that um, you do monitor the line, especially when it comes to a sport like this, football, because uh, things happen, especially out of the ordinary. Um, so with that said, I will continue on. So San Jose State got 38 points last week on their opener against UC Davis. Uh, the total yards they got was about 506, a little bit over 350 yards in the air, a little bit under 150 yards uh, on the ground. And uh, the defense, uh, the defense gave up just a little under 600 yards, uh, which we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, and Washington, right? On the flip side, you got Washington, who uh, put up 41 points their last game. And um, the total yards are about, th about uh, 400, uh, passing over a little 300. Uh, the problem they had last week is they're rushing, uh, the rushing game. It was just a little under 75 yards, and uh, it, it was uh, nothing, nothing to... Um, Nothing to uh, be impressed about. Actually, it'll probably be something for other teams to build on and knowing that if they can stop, stop the rush uh, easily, then maybe they can just focus on the uh, pass and then pretty much contain them down on the defensive side and then just hopefully put up a couple of touchdowns on the offensive side and win a game. But either way, um, that, that's, that's the thing with Washington State. Uh, that, that was uh, their only defense, I mean, their only um, weakness I've seen uh, so far was their uh, rushing game last week. Uh, besides that, their defense. The defense uh, just allowed 206 yards, and they allowed it to a good Wyoming team. Um, just 67 yards in the air. You know, the rest of that was on the ground. So uh, uh, maybe a little tying up on the on the defense side, on the linebackers, maybe on the line, and, and not give up those uh, those yards on the ground. But besides that, 67 yards in the air, shutting them down. You, you can't ask for much. All right. So, um, anyways, real quick, like I was saying, it opened up at 35 and a half, 35 and a half minus uh, for Washington State. And um, to me, uh, the books are right. Uh, some of you guys may look at the lines and be like, oh, San Jose State put up 506 yards, and, and, and you know, and, and Washington only put up uh, 400. And the pass yards and the rush yards, uh, you know, the San Jose State had a great, a, a better, a better week offensively. And which is true, but if you look at the matchup, you know, there, there's a reason for that. You know, they play UC Davis. UC Davis should be, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't really want to knock anybody on, on the college level, but, I mean, really, San Jose State, you guys lost to UC Davis at home? I mean, that, that that's freaking embarrassing, you know, and I'm calling you guys out. Either you don't give a shit about your program or you guys just, just are no good. Plain and simple, because there's no reason and no excuse for you guys to be losing to UC Davis. It's just, it's just unacceptable, you know? It's not even a David and Goliath thing. It's not even, um, fuck it, I could be two people who are equal and shit. Because it, it ain't even that, you know? You, you guys should have just beat them. Plain and simple, home opener, uh, covered the points, and made all those everybody happy who had your back and thought that you guys were going to turn it around this year. <laughs> Not, you know, not, you know, good, good thing I've been following you clowns for a little bit and I knew better. So uh, thank you, UC Davis, for doing what you do. And that's just playing strong because that's all you guys are known for, hanging in there and playing strong and giving it all you got. Nothing else more expected. But San Jose State, thank you for the letdown because you do what you do and that's let us down. And, um, well, you let other people down. You, you, you actually help my, you help my bankroll. So thank you for doing what you do con continuously. And, um. Yeah, thank you. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, you got, you know, I'm not going to front. San Jose State, it's not like you're going to fade them all the time. You, you are going to take them when the points are, are, are deemed necessary. And right now, 35, you know, you got my attention. But like I said, I'll probably lay 38 to 40. Because, you know, last week, the San Jose State game, even though those, those um, numbers are showing that, that they had good, uh, good yards offensively, 
two of those touchdowns were in the first quarter. Uh, one of them came off of a turnover, uh, I believe within the 15-yard line uh, of um, UC Davis, you know, threw the ball through an interception. And, and then the other one uh, was a drive where I, I, I was actually watching that drive, and there was a third and, a third and nine, and you guys got, I don't even know why, it wasn't even that rough, but you got a rough in the passer call, which saved your ass and got you a first down to 15. And then on that, you can try to get lucky and throw a little deep pass down, down, down to the side. And that got a pass interference, and it set you guys right on up within the five-yard line first and goal. So you just hand the ball off to, you know, to your boy Nevins, and no doubt he's going to rush it in. He's averaging at least two yards. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, about two yards. I think give him a little bit more credit than he deserves, but about two yards of carry. So you're getting the ball three times, it's going to get you six yards. So you're down at the five, you're going to get that touchdown, you know what I'm saying? It's just fucking simple math. But anyways, back to what I was saying is that uh, San Jose State is not going to be a team that you're going to fade every game. It's just a team that I've been betting on for the past couple of years, and I'm just sharing a little bit of what I've been trying to tell other people is, you know, you don't got to be banging your head, you know, every every Saturday morning on that game of the week. You don't got to be betting on Alabama every week. You don't got to be betting on the uh, on the Oklahoma games, on the Ohio State games. Man, look in your own backyard. Look in your own backyard. You got gems, gems in your backyard just sitting there. Because ain't nobody betting on them, so the books don't even know better. Well, I'm sorry, I mean, they're in business because they do know, but the books don't really pay attention to those lines, so they just pretty much throw anything out there because there's not a lot of action on there. So take advantage, take a minute, uh, do some studying, and, um, and look in your own backyard, man. It's like finding a needle in a haystack, but they're there. They're there all over the place. And I really wish that if somebody has a San Jose State in their neighborhood, Reach out to me, man. DM me on Twitter. Get with me on the Money Gang Sports channel, uh, the Money Gang Sports YouTube channel, and and, and, let, and let's talk about this because we're all about making money together. You know, I share what I got, you share what you got, and, and, and let's share. Let's parlay these two fucking teams and make some serious money. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's do this, you guys. All right, San Jose State. Um, keep an eye on them. I'll make another video in about two days. This was just a little breakdown on the numbers on what they did and, and on who they're facing. And, uh, and hopefully I didn't ramble off too much, but uh, I'll probably make another one on Thursday. Double check the line, see if it even moved up and moved down, and then we'll make a play on Friday. But as of right now, I'm leaning Washington State, uh, 35 and a half, like I said. Uh, I, my prediction of the score, uh, if you ask me, it should probably be about maybe 46, 45 to maybe 14. I'll give them two, but I really want to give them uh, two field goals and a touchdown. So we'll say 13. We'll say uh, 45 to 13 will be my final score. You had 35 points on that. You got 48. So, you know, that's why it's a lean, and I'm not really going for it yet. I want to watch the line move, and, and we'll see where it goes. All right? So here we go. Thank you for your attention and uh, your time. And Money Gang Sports, as always, hashtag pay it forward. And make sure you follow the whole crew because that's what we do, man. Break down shit and give it to you for free. Thank you. Bye.